So more fallout tonight from that video showing Ray Rice punching the woman who is now his wife. That woman, Janae Palmer Rice, issued her first statement since the elevator video was released, and she has some strong words for the media and the public. Suzanne Kennedy in our newsroom now with the latest tonight. Suzanne. Allison Rice and his wife today called for people to respect their privacy in this family matter. But before saying that, they spoke out about the incident having a dramatic impact on their lives. The day after this video led to the indefinite suspension of running back Ray Rice, the former Raven is reacting, issuing a statement saying, we are in good spirits, we have a lot of people praying for us, and will continue to support each other. His uh, wife of five months, the woman knocked out in that hotel elevator, is defending her husband and, and criticizing the media. Posting on Instagram today, no one knows the pain that the media has caused to my family to make us relive a moment in our lives that we regret every day is a horrible thing. Christina Alexander is a victim of domestic violence. She believes the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell botched how they handled the attack. I mean, what did they think happened in the elevator? So it's, I just feel like they, they should have made the decision when it first happened. Anti-domestic violence advocates gathered this afternoon at the National Archives to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the Violence Against Women Act, many critical of the league. The signal that it sent was that, you know, they didn't see it as as big a deal as the rest of the public did, clearly. Others in Washington had mixed views on the crime and the punishment. And I think the NFL did a good job by what they did, um, suspending him, because I think that it's important for people to know the NFL doesn't tolerate that. So they should have acted as soon as they found out what's going on. Difference, we should have acted differently from the beginning. Now, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell is speaking right now with CBS News. This is the first time he has talked to journalists about this incident since he suspended Rice yesterday. We are gathering information and we'll pass it along to you shortly. Reporting live in the newsroom, Suzanne Kennedy. ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Suzanne, for more on the fallout for the NFL and the commissioner. I'm Tim Brandt, our sports director here on that. You get a sense the heat's being turned up on him? Yeah, and I think it should be. Mm -hmm. uh, I talked about this yesterday and said right from the get-go, I think the commissioner has to be held accountable. Now, you've heard from Ray Rice and his wife, Janae. The players in the Ravens locker room are now blaming the media for showing the video at such a horrific moment. And between the NFL and the Ravens front office, there is finger pointing going on and more questions than answers. Now, the National Football League, more specifically, the commissioner's office said again today, that authorities did not make the video of the assault in the elevator available to them after request, but the hotel and casino told TMZ that no one from the NFL requested the video from them. They also told TMZ the state police had control of the casino, but since the assault took place in this elevator, the Atlantic City Police, not the state police, would have jurisdiction there. That stimulated another release by the NFL today, which says the NFL reached out to the state police and the Atlantic City Police. Look, the NFL remains defensive today. Today. There's no question about it, but there are still questions as to who knew what and when. The NFL and the Ravens have confirmed that Ray Rice told them exactly what they eventually saw in the video, so they knew the severity of the punch. I repeat what I said yesterday. Commissioner Roger Goodell needs to be held accountable for the way this domestic abuse case has been handled and for the inconsistencies in the punishments that he has handed out. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, he initially suspended Ray Rice two games which is the exact same thing Merriweather got for a high tackle in a preseason game. You know, we're now we're just getting late word, uh, just coming in as you were making your report here that Roger Goodell is saying now that he did, they did find out that another mm -hmm. tape was out there, but it was not, they, they were not able to get it. Didn't know how to get it. Didn't know how believe to get it. Is what you're saying. The NFL can get any tape they want, believe me when I say that. Hmm. Uh, that's hard Very to believe they can't. That's right. Oh, that's right. A lot no. more on this to come. Yeah, now we know Janae Rice here is the real victim, but Ray Rice, he is also losing quite a bit here. He lost more than just his job today. Nike announced that it's cutting all of its business ties with the former Raven. EA Sports also announced that it's removing Ray Rice out of its Madden 15 video game. Dix and Modell Sporting Goods have all stopped selling his jersey, and the Ravens are now offering a jersey exchange this Sunday for those fans out there who would like to change their Rice jersey. For more on the race of the Ray Rice fallout, go to WJLA.com and share your opinion on our Facebook page. Lots of talk going on there. Absolutely. Let's